when you look at the consumer now, they're incredibly empowered. They're constantly connected. They're always on. And they really see and shop the brand, not the channel. And they expect a seamless, fantastic experiences, however, whenever and wherever they choose to engage or shop with that brand. Um, but what we're seeing now is more and more trying their best or trying very hard to embed technology at every stage of the shopper journey and to reinvent themselves. So they're fit for purpose for the next generation of consumers. I think when you start looking at some of the policies that need to be introduced, it's just breaking down any of the barriers or any of the friction points, uh, especially for retailers, especially when you start looking at the regulations for cross-border commerce or start looking at the regulations with the consumer, consumer rights when it comes to e-commerce. Uh, that will certainly facilitate and get over some of those pain points that consumer has. Uh, you can't just use technology for technology's sake. And it's going to be those consumers that uh, will really define which technology wins out. We just have to look how quickly voice is already being embraced and adopted, not just as a way to engage with our favorite technology, but also to really shop. So I think really when you start to look at how consumers are embracing it, change is going to, uh, are going to get quicker and quicker and quicker. So technology is going to be a real enabler of change, um, but it's those that consumers are in control of what they actually adopt what will really, really set the pace. Those uh, big retailers and brands that are able to deliver that really highly personalized, so leveraging AI and big data even using things as auto, augmented reality or virtual reality and, and voice is certainly going to play a really big role in the next five to ten years.